Okay guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be doing this floating object in a flip tank tutorial. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to the particle fluids tab and click on flip tank and click enter or just do that. Click it around here and let that load in. Set the center to zero to zero set the water level to 0.5 set the initialize to beach tank and you're gonna have this warning these warning signs here it's all right um drop down an ocean spectrum and connect it to the first input of the wave tank here and set uh, the resolution exponent to 10. Set the swell to um, 0.9, yeah, 0.9. And the fetch to 9.6. Come out of that network. Drop down a geo node. Name it as floating underscore geometry or geo dive in drop down a rubber toy node and this is going to be your floating object you can pick whatever floating object you want but this is the floating object i'm going to do connect a transform node and set the uniform scale to 0.5 make the little buddy a little smaller um, and set the y translate to one and so the idea is this little guy is going to drop down and float about. Come out of this view, have the floating geo selected, go to rigid bodies, click on RBD hero object, and go into the dot net, and you should have some new stuff inside the dot net. Yeah, as you can see, click L to layout and you'll have your floating geo there. Um, go to the collisions tab and drop down a ground plane. Dive in, actually don't dive in, come out. Set the Y translate to minus 0.61. And if you go to perspective, set view, and front to viewport, it should just look something like that. Maybe a bit higher. Like that. But you can adjust this if this isn't correct uh, later on. Set your ground plane to minus 0.61, but we might adjust this later on to make the water deeper so the uh, rubber toy can duck below the water line and then come back up and splash. So dive into the dot net again. Select everything and click L, which you should have already done. On the RBD object, which is your floating geo, go to the physical tab, set the density to 3000. On the flip solver, volume motion tab, solver tab, set the feedback scale to 10. On the volume limits tab, set the Y box size to 12. On the floating geo, go to the collisions tab, bullet data tab. On geo representation, pick concave. Come out, just make the ground plane object invisible. Yeah, so on the ground plane object, set it to I don't know, just go to a front view again and just see how deep the water actually goes. So, it's about there. But this might differ for your scene if you've got different settings done, which you very might well have. So, come out and dive into the flip tank fluid on the fluid compress set the particle separation 
to 0.025. Then make the particle fluid surface visible. Or, better yet, cash, um, cash this out. So, um, cash out fluid compress. So you go to explicit and just pick your area where you want to save. So copy and paste this and then I'll highlight that and then just paste that in and then I'm only going to do 125 and just save that to disk. And so that is pretty much the video. So just final notes, file cache this, file cache this, come out of that view. Go into floating geo, file cache this out, and then you should just be able to click play and it will do its thing. And so, yeah, that is the tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, drop a like and consider um, consider adding a uh, HDRI light environment just to make that final render in the render view uh, a bit better and yeah thank you for watching and peace